CSEC Biology, the cover page. In today's lesson, we will be looking at an experiment to see how invertebrates respond to a stimulus, or one might say, toxis. We'll be using wood lice, millipedes, and earthworms. The response of these organisms are usually the same. They are usually found in a particular habitat, which is common to all three organisms. Now, this experiment will summarize what happens when organisms are exposed to a dry condition and a moist condition. To create that dry condition, we have used calcium chloride or silica gel could be used. We're using a choice chamber that was made, but a real choice chamber looks something like the diagram to the right of your screen it's like two petri dish uh, one with partitions in the bottom and the other with a hole in the top and they would be placed on each other like, like it's shown here so this is what it would look like if we were supposed to open it four partitions at the bottom a hole at the top and when we close it should look something like this but we're using one that we made and hence we can see what is happening so here we're using particularly uh, for this experiment, the earthworm. But the response of the earthworm is going to be similar to that of the wood lice and the millipede. We started the experiment with about eight earthworms. You could count, you might find nine. Uh, so count, make sure that you're doing the counting so that you, your observation is what it should be. Now, you're going to be required to document this information after this experiment now the earthworms are collected from a compost heap or you could get the millipedes or wood lice from a compost heap and ensure that no organism is armed should you be carrying out this experiment at school you are going to return the organisms after you would have completed the experiment now this experiment is pretty much the mean of what was actually done there was actually three samples that was carried out and this experiment like we've said represents the mean or the average of what we observe so you would be able to fill your table out nicely this is like we said me the mean we would have carried out this experiment three times and you will recall that it is very important that you carry out a experiment more than once so that you can rid yourself of what is called confirmational bias or one might say chance result you don't want to do it one time to say that you have arrived at a conclusion because that would not be correct it could be considered to be a chance result so you want to ensure that when you're doing an experiment you repeat the experiment so as to improve the accuracy of the result so we're using calcium chloride which is a desiccant a drying agent it is removing moisture from the air or we could use silica gel silica gel is found in most brand new shoes you'd find it in a sachet in your shoes and of course in the shoes it does pretty much the same thing it removes moisture from the shoes so as to ensure that the shoes would serve long and of course carry that wonderful fragrance of a new shoes so you're seeing water on one side to ensure that there's adequate moisture on that side and it is separated by a mesh the mesh there in black and white uh, so as to ensure that the condition that is sought at is maintained if we we're using the choice chamber we would use some similar we would use like cotton or something like that and we would simulate the environment now be mindful that we are simulating here what would have been a natural environment for the organism so we want to see how the organism would respond to various stimulus we talk about taxis now taxis is that response of the organism uh, where it tries to move to an environment that is pretty much in line with its habitat and it's usually moving towards a stimulus are moving away from a stimulus here the organism might be moving towards the dry side or towards the 
moist side. So the common words here would have been stimulus, uh, response, and of course, toxic for a lot of students might be a new word. And of course, you want to look at that when you write the lab up. You want to also be able to explain why some organism would have moved more than others and some organism kept moving from one side to the other. And some actually stayed where they were and pretty much moved but little, right? Others or other would not have moved. They would have been there for the entire experiment and they would not have moved. So it's going to be a little difficult probably for some student to count the number of organisms here. But it's very important that you count the organism. Don't rely on what's written to the side. Eight organisms were used or were placed in the choice chamber. Count the organisms that are in the choice chamber so that you can be accurate. Your teacher will be looking at the diagram. So you really don't want to get it wrong. And you want to say, you want to explain. It's very important for you to explain why the organisms responded the way they did. Of course, you are observing here that not all the organisms are responding to the stimulus the same way, but indeed, there is some response taking place. There are some organisms you'd see just sitting there, not moving. The conditions seem not to have phased them, while there are others which are really, really agitated. They are moving up and down, round and about, trying to make themselves uh, comfortable so you want to ensure that you are paying attention now there's a table that will come after the experiment you want to be able to fill that table out and your teacher might ask you to fill the information or to summarize what happened here using a pie chart to say which side of the choice chamber the, the millipedes prefer or the wood lice prefer or the earthworm prefer and of course, they might ask you to use a timing at what point, right? To see what point with the organism, that type of a thing. So it's very important that you are observing the experiment. So there we have the organism. There we had uh, pretty much almost the same number on the moist side as we had on the dry side. Uh, what we observe is that there is a mass movement from one side to another make sure that you would have observed that on your csec examination paper it is usually choice chamber that looks like the petri dish that is on the paper you must be able to observe and be able to simulate uh, making one side suit the particular condition that you would need for your experiment as we have said some of these organisms continue to move continue to move as to why they are moving you are going to need to explain that in your final write-up. Your teacher will determine what skill is being assessed here. So you're going to need a table to document this information and be mindful a table should have a suitable title and a title should be descriptive of what is in the table. Cells that are to be filled out will be left empty but those that are not to be filled out they should have a dash or blank within the cell. So here we were suggesting that probably you could have started the experiment with eight organism for all the particular uh, uh, sides. And of course, depending on what, what you're testing for, in this experiment we were looking at dry and moisture, but we usually look at other taxes to include these that are listed here. And then, like we said, you should carry out at least three samples, one, two, three, to ensure that you avoid what is called confirmational bias or chance result. Thanks much for watching. Please be reminded to like, share, and subscribe. When you subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell and select all so you will be informed as soon as there is a new product available.